Hey guys, it's Erica here with Tiny Acorn. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing my favorites in February. So over the past month, I have been obsessing over a few things. Wanted to share those five favorites with you guys today. And also I'm so excited because I finally get to share with you guys the big news that my husband and I have been dying to share with you. So stick around to the end of this video because we're gonna share our crazy plans for 2021. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and jump into my five favorites. The first favorite we'll talk about is this amazing collar, or just collars in general. I have been obsessing over these big collars, I think ever since I saw this collar that was done by the brand C New York. They're such an amazing brand, um, but their collars are a little expensive, and so I just never took the plunge to get one. But besides C New York, I feel like collars, big collars in general, have just been everywhere lately. Um, whether it's vintage or modern or handmade or whatever. Um, and so I needed to get myself some big collars because this is my favorite trend lately, you guys. I'm just so obsessed with it. So I found this girl on Instagram. Her name is Carolyn. Her brand is Big Baby Goes to Work. She has some really fun, cute clothes, um, but she makes these collars. And I also got one in white. And you can just literally, literally just like add it on top of whatever you want. You can add it on top of a sweater. Um, you can just add it on top of a blouse, like pretty much anything. You know, there's no rules really. You could add it on top of a coat if you wanted to. Um, and so, yeah, I got the white one and the black one and I just, I love them. I think they're so fun. Now my husband does not like the big collar trend, but I don't really care because I'm here for it. <laughs> I will go ahead and link her Instagram down below for you guys. Um, so big collars have been my jam lately. I'm so into them. Okay, so favorite number two. So this is actually a funny one. It is my Kinto water bottle. So I actually just got this color from my husband on Valentine's Day because he knows me so well. He knows I love mustard yellow and he found one of these in mustard yellow for me. So I'd been using a blue one, but anyways, this is just like my favorite water bottle. I love it more than like Hydro Flask or any of those other brands. And I'll tell you why. So I love the handle here that you can just like take around with you. you could, when you go on a walk, you can just ho hold your water bottle like that. How convenient is that? And then this part screws off and the inside here, basically you don't have to drink from just one spot. You know how a lot of water bottles have like the one part where the water comes out and you have to like find it in order to take a drink. No, this one you can drink from anywhere. It's so good. Mm. I love it. And then you can unscrew this and then that's where you fill it up inside. Um, and you guys, I put smoothies in this before and they have lasted and so I don't know. I think it's pretty insulated. Um, coffee's great in here too. I know a lot of people drink coffee. My husband uses ours blue one for coffee. Um, and yeah, they have them in so many different colors. Another color that I love that I saw once was a terracotta. But anyways, this is just my favorite water bottle. I think it's like a great size too. It's great to throw in your purse and take along with you. And if you're someone like me, then you have to have water with you at all times. Otherwise you panic. If I like leave the house with that water bottle, I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Because I just have to have water with me all the time. I don't know. So anyways, this Kinto water bottle is amazing. I love it so much. Okay guys, so favorite number three. So I recently found this YouTube channel, Rosary Apparel. The algorithm suggested to me a video that she did that was basically trying on all of the clothes in her wardrobe that she had made. So she is an amazing seamstress. And when I watched this video, I was just like shocked. All the pieces that she kept pulling out, I, I could, I was just mind blown that she made those. Like the fabrics were so cute. The styles were so cute. I just felt like, okay, this girl, her name is Janelle. I'm like, Janelle is 
the person that I would want to be in like another life, you know? Like if I had like a couple different life options, I would definitely want to be her in one of them because she's like living one of the lives that I want to live where you just like make and sew beautiful clothes and you have like an amazing wardrobe that's all handmade stuff by you. Anyways guys, she's great. She also has videos of 10 minute sewing projects and stuff like that if you just want to like get started and are a newbie at sewing. But I really feel like the whole making your own clothes thing is really coming back. I don't know if it's just me that I'm now just now catching on to all of these amazing Instagrammers that like make their own clothes, but there's a lot of people out there that are making their own clothes and they're amazing and like hand knitting like these amazing sweaters and stuff like that. And I just look at it and I'm like, gosh, I just wish I had the time to do that. Like, I wish I could do that. It sounds so fun. But anyways, I will go ahead and link Janelle's YouTube channel, Rosary Apparel, down below for you guys so you can check her out. Okay, so the next favorite that I have for you guys is actually a book that my therapist recommended to me. So funny because I think I shared about another book that my therapist recommended in my last favorites video. Um, but you guys, she, my therapist is just the best. She recommends the best stuff. So this book, it's called Attached. I, you know, I'm only like a couple chapters into it already, but it's kind of blowing my mind and that's why it's on my favorites video. <laughs> so this is the science of adult attachment, how it can help you find and keep love. And basically the whole premise of this book is that the child attachment theories that we have sort of known for a while are actually relevant to adults. And your attachment style as an adult basically is reflected with how you approach relationships. There is actually scientifically a reason why different people navigate relationships differently. And it's based on different attachment styles. There are three different attachment styles. There's the anxious attached, the avoidant attached, and the secure attached. And then there's also like a very rare percentage of people that are anxious avoidant. So two combined. So anxious people are often preoccupied with their relationships and tend to worry about their partner's ability to love them back. Okay, that's me. <laughs> I'm definitely an anxious attached person. <laughs> okay, so the avoidant attached people equate intimacy with a loss of independence and constantly try to minimize closeness. Now this one is one that I think Jason might be a little bit of, although he's in denial. Um, <laughs> I talked about this book on my Instagram and I actually polled you guys to find out what you thought you were and the majority of you guys said that you thought you were an anxious attached. And then there's the secure people that are securely attached. They feel comfortable with intimacy and are usually warm and loving. They even have a test in here that you can take to find out like what your attachment style is. Um, but I found this book to be really helpful so far. Some of the things that stood out to me about this book was what happens when an anxious person feels like they're not close enough to their partner and they're not intimate enough with their partner, then they exhibit what's called protest behavior. And so that might be like calling their partner over and over again until they answer or they feel like they have to see their partner right now. And they might even threaten to leave or something like that. And basically they're just protesting because they're like, I need to be close to you and you are avoiding me. <laughs> so I thought that was really interesting. But then also avoidance also have protest behavior when they feel like they're getting too close to their partner. And so that might be why, you know, they blow you off after you thought you had a great date and maybe they shared something personal and then they feel like too close to you all of a sudden and they don't know why, but they're just kind of pushing you away because intimacy is scary for them. So I thought that was so interesting and I'm really excited to read more about this. One of my favorite chapters, which like I said, I'm only a couple chapters in, but I'm really, really into chapter two. It is called dependency is not a bad word. And basically, it goes into the science of why it is normal and healthy and we should be dependent on each other, on our spouses or our partners. And this whole idea of us 
being these amazingly like independent people who are totally fulfilled on our own is just false. It's not even true. So basically it goes back to, I think it was like the 1920s or 40s or something when there was all these studies that came out that were like, don't coddle your child because they're gonna grow up spoiled. Don't give your child too much love. Don't give them too much attention because it's bad for them. And we want our children to grow up so autonomous and so strong and can like take on the world and stuff. And so like, don't raise your child to be too dependent. And we realized that that was completely false and totally wrong and that children need more love and the more love that they have and the more dependent on their parent, like the more adventurous they feel in the world and the more strong they feel in the world and the more they feel like they can take on in the world. And so basically this book is saying that like when you are able to feel safe and dependent on another person, on your partner, then that actually makes you more confident to go out into the world, more secure to go out and try new things and, you know, be stronger. So I thought that was so validating for me because I feel like I've always just like kind of felt that in my heart, but now it's actually explaining it and it uses science to explain it, which is really cool. Anyways, if that sounds like an interesting book to you guys, check it out. I will link it for you guys below. I'm going to talk about my last and final favorite, and it's kind of a random one, but I recently found the show on Hulu called Baskets, and it's actually with Zach Galifianakis, and he plays this character who really wants to be like this classical clown. The whole show is kind of just like this tragic comedy of Zach Galifianakis who his last name is Baskets. So he ends up running out of money in France because he flunks out of clown college. And so he has to move back to Bakersfield where his family lives. And the only job that he can get as a clown is a rodeo clown. So basically this whole show is just like about his sort of journey. And I've only gotten to the first five episodes so far, so I don't know how the whole thing pans out, but I'm really excited to finish watching it. You know, it might not be your cup of tea. I definitely have like an interesting taste in movies and TV shows. It's a little bit more out there type of stuff that I like. So if you like kind of more indie stuff, you might like this show too. So anyways, if you wanna check it out, let me know what you think of it. Or if you've already seen the show, please let me know in the comments what you think of it. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found some new fun things that are interesting to you. And let me know how you're liking this series. I think it's pretty fun. Stick around because I'm going to share the big news. Are you guys ready for it? Ah. All right guys, so here with my husband, Jason. Hi. <laughs> so we have been making some crazy plans for this next year, and now we're gonna tell you what they are. Yeah, so. We are? Uh-huh. We're gonna let um, them know? We're gonna tell them. Are you sure we want to? Yeah. Are you sure? They'll find out eventually. Okay. Ready? Yes. We bought a horse. We bought a horse. No, <laughs> we, we bought, bought a house. house. <laughs> yeah, so we bought a house, um, but the. The kicker is that it's kicker. nowhere near San Francisco, California, because yes. we can't definitely can't afford a house in San Francisco. Yeah. But we can afford a house in... Bakersfield, California. California. In the Central <laughs> Valley, the San Joaquin Valley. So the reason we're moving to Bakersfield is because his family lives there. Mm -hmm. We want to be closer to family. We would love to have help when it comes to take care of Monty. Um, just to give us a little bit more freedom like we don't mm. live near any family right now yeah. and especially during COVID it's like yeah. You can't get a babysitter. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it's just really weird So we're moving closer to family and my family also lives in Fresno So that's like two hours away from Bakersfield. Yeah. So that's great The plan is phase one is gain a home base that we can afford and so we bought a house which is great We're building equity, which is awesome. We're close to family, which is amazing phase two is we're planning on buying some type of recreational vehicle to tour the United States yeah. and film some awesome thrifting and nature content. Yes. We're just going to become a content machine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Since Jason can work remote, 
and I can work remote. Our plan is to basically travel once a quarter and we'll go from like two to four weeks at a time and just travel anywhere we want filming thrifting videos and hopefully being able to meet up with some other YouTubers and um, thrifters out there as well. So that'll be really fun. Yeah, that'll be great. Yeah, so I mean, when we did the Thrift Across America series last August, we got a taste of what it was like to be on the road and we had so much fun and there's so many more places that we wanted to go and explore. But I always told Jason, like, we can travel for like three months at a time. I don't care, but I want to have a home base. So. Bakersfield's gonna be our home base, and then we're gonna get an RV and we're going to travel the country. So that's probably not gonna be until like later on in the summer or, or whenever we can get this vehicle going. But the fact that we're able to buy a house in Bakersfield where it's a little bit more affordable than San Francisco. A lot more, a lot more affordable. <laughs> a lot more affordable, <laughs> which means that we'll, we'll get to have the home base. We'll also get to have our adventure. Mm -hmm. While and Monty's still young. While we're home, we get some support and help with yeah. our little guy yeah. from a family that's eager to take care of him, which is awesome. Yeah, and that will be so nice for me because then I'll be able to um, work more, which is something that I've been really missing lately. Anyways, that's kind of our two-year plan. We would love to end up in the central California coast, the San Luis Obispo area, specifically Los Osos, but Houses are a little bit more expensive, so we need some time to sort of save money. And so this is kind of our plan to do that. Fingers crossed. Crossed. Cross and double cross. Yeah. So stay tuned for more uh, travel vids. Yeah. So I'm... <laughs> <sighs> I feel so good to get this off my chest and now we can just talk about it. All okay. the time. That's all the it. channel is going to be about. Yeah. Comment down below if you had a hunch that we bought a house. Because I know some of you guys had some guesses. Yeah, it's 2021. Everyone's moving. Yeah. No big deal. <laughs> but anyways, um, stay tuned. Ring that bell and subscribe for the future. So that way you don't miss any of our future videos. We're going to be sharing the house with you guys. It's so cute. Our little house tour. And... Hopefully, I'm trying to figure out some sort of like YouTube collaborations yeah. with some like YouTube decorators to help me out with decorating this house because I'm just over decorating. I know, it's so much work. <laughs> it's so much work. So anyways, um, stay tuned for all of that stuff and all the future fun content that we're gonna be pumping out. Thank you guys so much for your support and uh, remember, you're beautiful just, just the, the way, way you are. are. Just Bye. Okay, bye.